Hey guys, so I actually had a uh, hardware failure on the Tico and you can see here how I have this filament kind of hanging out. So it looks like the, I don't know if you can see that, let's see. to get to a good angle but yeah you can see it right there that the uh, tube that the tube itself popped out right around uh, right around here so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the arms the carriage arms up to see if I can't get that fixed and also unload the filament so Just thought I'd uh, give a quick update. Not really sure how this goes together. That seems pretty, uh, pretty solid. And filament did go through, but that's kind of in there pretty good. Not entirely sure on the routing either. Oh, I see one is. Okay, so this. This line right here, I'm looking at the front of the Tico. So on the. If you have it upside down on the left hand side, right here, it looks like that's what actually feeds the filament through and then on the right hand side right here where it popped out that's actually where the filament goes to the extruder motor so I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to fix that um, if not I'll have to open up a support ticket I guess I mean that's all I can do so I'm gonna try to unload the filament and uh, I'll be uploading the uh, Benchy boat 3d print if I can get this fixed all right thanks guys hey guys so I was able to get the filament unloaded and you can kind of see this. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to show up but the end of the tube is pretty flared out. There's a spring on it and then the piece that I wasn't quite sure of is actually right here. So I don't know if he uses some sort of uh, clamping but this piece you just uh, turn it the opposite way of the way that it's facing and then if you I found that if you wiggle it off because it, it's keyed and you can wiggle it off so I'm hoping that that will allow me to get that tube back in so that I can get back up and printing so uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now um, the connector um, so that connector right there is the thermistor uh, from what I can see on the board and it looks like the rest are either extruder or um, stepper motors. And then for anybody 
And I was kind of curious about the arms. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see right there. So there's no bearings or anything. So it's just a gear, a gear rack, and then some hooks that uh, go over this part right here. So when you see people talking about the arms popped off, they just pop right back on. Um, and then the electrical connector that I saw that was mentioned is right here and it routes down there so i can see how this particular axis uh i'm assuming it's the z is ripping the power connector off because mine's kind of looking a little a little weak as far as the connector goes but anyways uh, i'm gonna get back to this uh thanks for watching uh, so I ended up, I was able to get it back on. And I did have to, so the end was flared a little bit, so I had to cut that off because I couldn't get it the rest of the way through. So I ended up having to take off one of the arms though, because I couldn't, well I just couldn't fit both my arms around the assembly so anybody that's interested uh, can see the arms now but you can kind of see here that you have the uh, geared motor, or the motor, separate motor with the gear on it. And then you have these hooks that you can kind of see there. And then they go just along this rail. And so it's pretty basic, simple design uh, as opposed to using another method, but you know, it seems to work. So I'm going to put this back together, see if that uh, Bowden tube going to the hot end pops out again. Thanks.